Yesterday we learned how to find percent of a number. We simply looked at the word of and knew that that meant to multiply our percent, which we're going to rewrite as a decimal, times the given number. So 0 0.46 times 75. Today, we're going to learn how to find a missing percent or a missing total. And there are two ways to do this. The first way is to solve with ratios. So let's look at our sample problem. 12 is what percent of 50? I'm going to rewrite this to 12 out of 50 is, which I'm going to substitute an equal sign, what percent? And I'm going to use a variable, x percent, because that is my unknown. I can write 12 out of 50 as a fraction or a ratio, 12 over 50. And I know that percent is always out of 100, so I'm going to put 100 as my denominator, or the bottom part of my ratio, and I'm going to put an x on the top. Now I can use the different methods for solving equivalent ratios or proportions that we learned previously in this unit. I can either multiply the top and bottom by the same number, or I can butterfly and solve for x. Either way, I'm going to get that x equals 24. And because I know that that's a percent, I would write 24 percent. Now, this is the same problem written in a different format. And again, I'm going to rewrite it 12 out of some number is 24 percent. Now, when I write it like that, I would have 12 over x, because I don't know what number it is out of, and I would write 24 percent as 24 hundredths. And again, I would solve the same way. I would either find a way to divide to make an equivalent ratio, or I would cross multiply and solve for x. And either way, I would get that x equals 50. The second way to solve percent of and percent is problems is to use division. If I rewrite this problem like I did before, 12 out of 50, I know that I can write that 12 over 50, and I know that to turn a fraction into a percent, I can divide and get a decimal answer and then turn that into a percent. The other side is a little bit different in that I'm going to keep it in the same order. 12 equals 0.24, and then we said earlier that of means times, so I'm going to multiply that times x because I don't know what the number is. And then to solve this, I would simply divide by 0.24. And get 50 equals x. And that's how you solve percent of and percent is problems.